Can't Sleep, 29th of December, 2011. I'm just thinking about this idea that I just came up with on the, on the spur of the moment. I was writing about the signal in the S&P today at a consolidation zone on the R1 pivot. There was a 26.4% percent bearish divergence over the space of like over two hour two and a half hours there was 30 candles so what I did I just took the bearish divergence as the the numerator and I divided it by the number of candles or the units and when when uh, 26.4 was divided by by 30 you know, I got like not point seven eight, I believe. And then I kind of got thinking around this idea of comparing the ratio of the divergence to how long the signal is valid for. Because, for example, if it's a double top, then I, I, I connect the RSI peaks with the price peaks and I use the RSI values that correspond to the to the price tops or if it's like a, a typical bullish divergence then I use the the lower lows in price and the higher highs in RSI and it's just a ca simple case of calculating the percent different difference in the RSI peaks and counting the number of of candles to get your um, denominator, and I've been finding that that it's either a case where the values are tending to be between zero and spot five, and between spot five and one, or or they're a slightly above one because obviously the numerator is is larger than the denominator meaning the the divergence is more than than uh the number of candles so basically you got to just picture that as markets make three types of reversals they either slowly grind down and have a divergence and then make a reversal, or they have a quick abrupt push down with a divergence and make it make a quick quick reversal, which is really aggressive, or they'll make a double top or double bottom with a divergence and then make a reversal. But then that double top or bottom can can vary on two aspects. The the W uh bottoms are close together or far apart or the or the m tops are close together or far apart and that will that just means there's there's x number of candles that go into the denominator which then uh determines the ratio whether it's going to be above one or below one, and I believe that that when a when a double bottom or top has has the price peaks like close together, ideally around forty minutes, that gives a higher predictive value than if if they're further apart, because then it's just like a resistance, like a, a resistance or support level. So it's time variant, like uh, so. I'm just making this. Daft video without any any graphs to explain it, so that I can remember very clearly this idea of how I'm trying to rank the aggressiveness of a price reversal in terms of its ratio, that being the percent divergence compared to um the the time for which the signal is valid because a bigger a deeper divergence over a shorter time frame is more aggressive than 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 the opposite that's just intuitive